at the yard, we we start from the basics always. Simplicity is best a lot, a lot of the times. So. Our clinch classes, uh, I teach it. It's at seven on Wednesdays. Just grab your partner and just get really familiar with positioning. Main thing is no matter what, don't lose track of their of your partner's arms. See how my bicep or my palm, my palm never really leaves his arm. I spend half of the time talking about and explaining uh, techniques and situational stuff. The other half is all just straight clinch sparring. My name is Eugene Provencio. I fight out of Los Angeles, California, and I train out of the Yard Muay Thai. My name is Julian Bernal. I fight for a hobby. My upcoming fight is July 27th for Fighters Rep in Seal Beach. It's nice to have a, a training partner that go into war with me, so looking forward to it. Can't wait. Chuko here always puts on a show. I expect to do the same. That day is our team. That's all, that's all that matters. We gotta go in there and do the work we gotta do to get that W. That's it. It's all about just being practical. Uh, practical motions, balance, efficiency in all your techniques. As far as game plan goes, we just tell our guys to go out and fight their hearts on Yeah, and get a good grip right here. Yeah, the deeper the better. There you go. Ah! <laughs> Realistically, man, we can sit there and prepare the best you can, but when you get in there, man, you know, sometimes everything goes out the window. I know nothing about my opponent. Just getting better at everything I do. Uh, the things that I do best that I want to get better at. So uh, a couple of techniques that I, I like to use, I've just been trying to improve on those techniques. I had a friend that came back from the military. He took me backyard and uh, <laughs> asked if I thought I was tough. Of course, at the time I said yes, because I was young. He's been training MMA for six months, so he took me down, sat on my chest, and punched me in the face. And at that time, I realized I didn't know anything, so quickly signed up to a Muay Thai gym and started putting on work from there. I was a smaller guy in my city, so I did get in a lot of fights. I took a lot of beatings from my smart mouth. And now I feel confident fighting, but I don't have a smart mouth anymore, so it's good. I didn't really grow up getting into street fights. I grew up defending myself. People would like try to test me. Growing up, like they understood that I was a fighter. I was smaller than them, so they would try to see what I could do and if it would really work against them. And it ended up woodworking and they would get hurt and then I would get in trouble, you know? So like, that's how I shit went. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think I'd be the person I'd be today without fighting in general. I don't even know what I'd be doing without fighting. Well, mainly not martial arts changed my life. This gym changed my life. The coaches here, everything, you know, like, they really opened my eyes and, like, made me know that I had potential to be whatever I wanted to be and could do anything, because growing up, I counted myself out too, like, I would think, oh, I'm too small to do that, or I can't do that. I guess that's who wants to get beat up first. It's all on you, huh? I'll make it look nice. Without this gym, I don't know what I'd be doing right now. I feel like I have a lot more to prove than these other guys out there. Sometimes I feel like in the majority of my fights, my opponents, the people they know or their team, they kind of, uh, I feel like they think I'm a bitch, like straight up. I feel like they think I'm an underdog. I feel like they think I'm too skinny or scrawny or like I don't train hard enough. At the end of the day, what they think don't matter, what their coaches think don't matter. At the end of the day, the only thing that matters is what I do in my gym and with my team. Chuko is super young and talented. 
Uh, I think he's just now kind of, you know, figuring stuff out. He's always had the talent, but it's just a matter of him harnessing it. Chico had a fight earlier this year. I'm coming off a win from Fighters Rep 6. Last fight of the night, man. It's going to be a good one, man. Both these guys are scrappers. Yeah, and Bo Brooks, man, he's a gamer, man. I felt like I could have worked on some things. My body shots are working really great. Wow, nice body work from Chico. Hunting, hunting. Stalking Bo Brooks. Absolutely. I noticed in the first round, by the time he went back to his corner in the first round, he was already sitting down on his stool. You could see it in the corner for Bo, man. His body's hurting him. Oh! I think this is probably the most confident he went into the fight. And he worked extra, extra hard for this one. It was a long time coming. Because of his youth, he's still growing and figuring himself out. And uh, I think there's uh, a lot that you can expect from him. 10 seconds here. Let's see what they got left oh, in the tank. Big body shot. That hurt both. That body work from Chuko is disgusting. And there you have it. The final fight of the night. A unanimous decision for Chuko out of the yard in the blue corner. That was there. Yeah. Focus on staying loose. Snap, snap, loose. Good footwork. Yeah. Yeah. The later part of the round, you finished it off perfect. This is the beginning. You were a little tense. Yeah. That's good. I don't care. I don't give a fuck like who it is. If you, I don't care how big you are or how what you think you can do. I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna try my best to fucking knock your head off. You know, like that's that's my fucking goal. It's to fucking hurt him as best as I can. He definitely packs a wall, a powerhouse, you know, very, very uh, scrappy. Oh, wow, with a knockout. Eugene with a walk away. Chuko starting to look upstairs now. Oh, what a backhand by Chuko. The Jiu Jitsu gym I was training at. The coach actually was teaching jiu-jitsu at the yard. I've always had it in the back of my mind that that was kind of where I was going to end up when I get the chance. And sure enough, I uh, moved away to Reno and then came back and just decided to go full on with the yard. So it's been good. I loved it. Yeah, it actually feels like a gym. It's not pretty, it's not nice, it's just how I like it. This is how a gym should look like and be. <laughs> Julian, he's a very, very likable guy, just very genuine. He has a super busy schedule and comes in and puts in work as best he can. Those are the kind of fighters that you can't help but be proud of every day. Yoshi's great. He's taught me a lot about balance. You know, he didn't really change my style, he just improved it. The little, little things that I could do that he saw me doing and how I can add on to that. So it, it's up my game a lot. And I, I appreciate every moment with Yoshi. Well, be first now. Be first. Combinations, put it together. Yeah, your, your posture especially breaks when people are coming at you. So make sure you're moving your feet. If you want to go back, it's okay. Just keep that posture. Now you can drive him. And as soon as he comes forward, you kind of sit on back. Yeah. Julian is, is very, very exciting to watch. He definitely has his own staple and his own way that he likes to move. It's very unorthodox, I think. A lot of different angles that you're not used to seeing, but he, he just knows how to work his style very well. My style as a fighter is just to put on the best show I can for people that paid money to come see us fight.
having coaches like Yoshi and Mark, are, it's been key for me. You're fucking, you're kind of lazy, and you're fucking, <laughs> then you're stopping them, cracking them, then you give up, then you come back up. Boom, you're already throwing them up, finish a little more. Or the leg, the left kick is always money for you. First half that round, he's back your ass up the whole round. You start stepping and you back him up. You know, they really take the time to correct your mistakes and work with you. So the coaches here are, are good, and I feel like I'm in good hands here. My legs feel heavy. Yeah. I've been running a lot. My legs just feel heavy. Good. all over there. He brings a lot of shit to the table that I've never seen before. He's a good fighter, you know, he fucking brings the heat too, you know, so you don't want to miss that shit. There's no quitting the guy, and it's all hard. I think all our fighters have big hearts, man. No, nah, no quit, definitely. That's embedded in me. I'm giving everything I got in there, and I'll make sure to put on a show. That I promise. We're gonna try to hurt people. We're gonna try to make them fucking pay for whatever bad things they thought of us for making them even think they can win. We're gonna make them pay for that. On July 27th at Fighters Rep 7, Kings of MMA is gonna definitely sweep across the board. 15 staff and let's go, finish, finish. The top fight teams send their best young talent to represent. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> In a first of its kind, team versus team event. Are you ready? Then it's time, it's time, it's time to lace them up and throw down! This fight means everything for me. I have two kids, and I have a bunch of nephews looking up to me. They all, I'm supposed to be the uncle that's a badass, so I gotta put on a show for my, my family, you know? July 27, fans can expect fireworks. Hey, if you liked that video, subscribe to Bedellion and Fighters Rep on YouTube. You can also follow Fighters Rep on Instagram at Fighters Rep.